big, big updates. Take this shit to motherfucking trial, yeah, yeah. Woo. Big, big updates in the YSL situation, man. So we've learned that instead of taking it to trial, as they have said they would do, <laughs> several members of YSL, Push including Push and including Yak Gotti, Lil Duke, and Gunna, have all taken specific plea deals where they have openly admitted in a court of law to a judge that YSL is indeed a gang and mm -hmm. that they have seen YSL members commit crimes. Mm -hmm. now, snitch, 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 snitch. The big debate. Now, no, before we even get to the, the big debate, the important thing to look at here is that beyond whether you think this is snitching or not or whatever, what it definitely is and what it definitely is going to do is put Young Thug in a very bad position. A very bad position. Mm -hmm. Because if you are Young Thug's defense team now, how do you prove to a jury of 12 people that your client is not the leader of a gang that four members that associate with him just said in a court on paper is indeed a gang and that they have seen commit crimes. Remember, his whole defense was supposed to be, this is not a gang, it's a record label. That is now an impossible point to prove in court for Jeffrey because his four associates have now claimed otherwise. It is also important to note that has been said by not only Young Thug's lawyer, but other members, founding members of YSL, that Norgunna, Yat Gotti, Lil Duke, or the other dude, I forget his name's lawyers, contacted anyone in the YSL camp or Young Thug's lawyers and told them they were going to take any of these deals. Oh, wow, I did not know that. Yeah, I seen that. <laughs> I, seen that. <laughs> I was waiting for that detail, but that's crazy. So, in you guys' opinion, we'll start with Clay. Is this or is this not count as snitching? It does count as snitching. Because you know what? I think about every time now, I've noticed that I've been always like comparing, contrasting other people's, you know, court situations to what happened with Bobby Schmurder and Rowdy. And I thought about it. I said, would Bobby Schmurder right have done this? No, he would not have. Would the Rowdy golden have done ticket. This? No, he would not have. So it definitely counts as snitching. Gonna feel sorry feel. All I know is, man, pray, 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 pray for Thugger, man, because that's that that's crazy. The fact that, because my opinion, before I let Don go, my opinion was, I'm like, you know what? I feel like Thug being, because everybody always talks about how given Thug is. Like, you know, he's pretty much like the second coming to Gucci Mane in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. I felt like, okay, you know what? There's no way they would let, you know, they would just take this plea deal, you know, over Thug Head. I feel like Thug probably told him, like, yo, you know what? I'm not going to let all of us get pinned for this. Like, y'all do what y'all got to do, and I'll hold down. I'll hold it down and be the only man in here since I'm I'm the head of the label, da 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 But the fact that they did it without even contacting him is crazy. Like, I really had no idea that they would even do that. Like, yeah. that really lets you know that people in the industry are really weirdos, and it could even be the people closest to you. And like, and I don't mean weirdos in terms of just like, yeah, you know. What I mean, I mean like, 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 how could you be that closely associated and not even have the decency to contact your your, your associate and be like, yo, like, it's messed up the situation we in, but I might have to do this because it's what's best for me and my family or whatever the case may be. Like, at least have that conversation out of respect. Like, that's just crazy. I, I can't even believe that. Don, what you think? Yeah, yeah, one thousand percent snitching, and I, it's crazy that a lot of people are trying to defend that this is not snitching. I'm gonna tell you why because if this was a, it it, it kind of is a real. It's not a only street in the hood situation because it's like entertainment industry, hip hop on a right. big stage situation. If it was on right. a just straight street like and word around town situation, every single person is going to be calling this, these, these people snitches. Everybody. As soon as they see them in the street, they're going to be like, oh, that nigga snitched. He snitched. They on a Rico case, this is what you plead. Let me see the paperwork. Oh, yeah, he is snitched. And everybody, everybody knows that, and they're trying to defend these dudes. On a street, like I said, on street level, if he was a 
normal civilian. If it was Will Smith in the courtroom, that's what right, I told people. We, we, if I this understand. nigga was yeah. Travis yeah. Scott, yeah. If, if they was Pharrell Williams, you know what I'm Chance the Rapper, I would completely understand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. That, that, I, I probably wouldn't. Been, I wouldn't even call them a snitch. I'd be like, yeah, bro, I'd be like, you know, the they not about their life. Yeah, yeah, take the plea. They just not about this. Yeah. This you hear what they rap about. You hear what they about. You hear what they say. Take it to trial. They're completely snitching. And you know it's crazy, and I keep telling people that the uh, prosecutors, they're playing freaking chess, bro. They're playing, and this is exactly what the lawyer, what Thug's lawyer was saying, is that, first of all, they probably already knew that the judge was going to drop, you know what I'm saying, with the with all the, the you know, how they didn't have the correct thing to go into his crib and take all his yeah, possessions. Yeah, they cleared that, so they, they can't cleared use that. His, yeah. The prosecutor knew they was going to clear that. They knew they messed yeah. up in that situation, so they were yeah, like, they knew, "Look, yeah. let's let's uh let's let's get these dudes some nice plea deals. Let's you know what I'm saying, give them the you know give them the cheese, give them the cheese. Here, here, take this. Y'all can get out. We gonna suspend. Blah blah boom blah, boom. But look, you just gotta admit that why it sells a gang, and you know what I'm saying, like y'all was doing some criminal and that's activity. The, that's the part. That's the part that hurts my soul, man. It's not. <laughs> even, it's like it'd be one thing if you was like, okay, yeah, they're a gang. But then the first to say, yes, I saw them commit gang exactly. crimes, it's like, dog. Yeah, yeah. So you know what? <laughs> like, you know, how do I... You know the crazy thing about that? If they did not take those plea deals with all that the that evidence being diminished... Being thrown, being diminished, they would have had a better chance. They would have had a crazy chance, bro. They they yes, would have been... Because they all that... They all probably would have been like, there for another this is year not a too, gang. This is a valid. record label. That's why they Damn. stood and stood and waited till their trial. There, this is a record. Label. What has happened since they've been locked up? Nothing. No one's died. No gang activity is gone. Nothing. They this is not. Why would Gunna of all people and Lil Duke? Mind you, Lil Duke is supposed to be closer to Young Thug than any of these niggas because he has been riding with Lil Thug from from Young Thug from like from when this shit started. How could you sit there in the court and say, I don't care, and I get it. I know there's all this other stuff. You, the lawyers are trying to do certain moves and all this shit. I get it. Like Clay pointed out, so such a good point earlier. This is no different than the same thing that, that the feds tried to put in front of Bobby Schmurter's face to get him to testify or say Roddy and them was in the gang. And Bobby Schmurter said, no, nigga, take me back to my cell. I'd rather do extra time than me tell y'all, me and my mans that I went that I grew up with was in a gang. That don't make no sense. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I feel like and a lot I actually of these seen, I don't know if y'all seen Rowdy's drink champs. Not to cut you off, but I don't know yeah. if y'all seen Rowdy's drink champs. But they said that if Bobby took that deal, that not only was Rowdy going to have to do more time, they said like one of the other mans would have been like convicted to do like 90 or 100 years or something like that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So I'm like saying, he, wasn't, he was looking out for everybody on that. Yeah, but beyond just looking out, he stood up and he did his time. What is, right, right, right. Why is anyone too. defending Gunner and these niggas that claim they were so? Look, even Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne got the little gun charge. He went and did his little year. And now I think he did another year. Look at Boozy. Boozy did what? Two, three years? Look at Gucci. Gucci did two, three. Do your freaking time, even whether you're a real gangster or not. Do what you were saying in these records that you've been selling, making millions for, and get out, bro. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Because, like, right. that's the craziest part about it to me is like, you cannot justify what these niggas did. Damn, I don't bro. care if their lawyers told them to do it or not. If I'm gonna, I'm like, dog, go listen to my albums, bro. I can't do this. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I can't, I can't do this. Can't Are you kidding it. me? Straight up, though. Straight up. But, like, like, I can't. Like, have Straight you been up. listening? But you know, <laughs> you, know, you, know what makes it even, you know what makes it even worse, bro? Is that if gonna actually push through and probably, um, uh, like didn't win the trial, bro. He was not gonna get. I don't believe Gunner was gonna get that much time, bro. No, he, he was probably. He was probably gonna get like a six, a two year sentence. Like I feel like two, maybe three. they would have hit him with the, the the ten or the eight, and he would have maybe got out after three or four. You know what yeah, I'm saying? At yeah, most, yeah, Gunner would have yeah. done maybe in in, in, in ten or eight. What could have been yeah. going on? Yeah. And this is another thing that hurts me. If you think about it, the trial, is a month away. It's next month. Y'all niggas do this now, right? Yeah. The very least y'all could have done, say, say y'all even wanted to take any kind of deal or whatever, do whatever y'all got to do. You could have at least waited and been a stand-up guy until you sat next to your man at the trial, then took the stance or whatever, and I said, look, man, I at least waited until I sat here next to my dog and tried to do this. These niggas didn't even take it to trial. Like they made a whole song saying that they would. That's the craziest right. part about it to me. It's like, bro, you you made a whole song, Gunna and Yad Gotti. I'm going to take this to trial no matter what. We don't know if F the judge, F everybody. We taking this to trial. Y'all couldn't even stand trial. And you know, you know, and, and and 
I've, I said this too, even like on Twitter and stuff like this. People go back to the six nine situation, and I feel like this kind of snitching is even worse than six nine snitching. Yeah, yeah no, technically, six, nine situation was was a little different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, six nine was a snitch, snitch, but it was. It, but it was his worse own than gang members. It was his yeah, own because gang at least six nine kind of on the crew yeah. he created. You get what I'm saying? Like right, right. And no, you know what not I'm even not they even was trying to abuse not, him. Not yeah, not even just that. You know what I'm saying? Like wh when it comes to like you know loyalty and stuff like that, like. They they kidnapped him. They they was messing with his baby mama and stuff. Yeah, like they that. was doing a bunch they of yeah. threatened his doing, mom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So although he did snitch you know when saying? it comes to you know what I'm saying the street code and stuff like that, like and let's yeah, you be see, you see as far as here. authenticity, yeah. Gunner was way more pushing street shit than six nine. Ain't nobody right. any given person with sense is gonna tell you that Gunner is on paper way more of an actual street nigga than than six nine, right? So you had way more of a responsibility, I think. Than six nine to 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 do something like this, you get what I'm saying? Like, right? You, you know, because like you said, why is it? Because I feel like, especially with people from the south, right? If this was two dudes from New York, y'all would be like, oh yeah, New York South, stay snitching, y'all rats, y'all rats. Look at what, what what Bobby did. Why gonna could not just do this? Bobby did what? Seven, sixty? How much years Bobby did? I think it, I think he did seven, like a seven. little like a little over six. Come seven. on, son, gonna couldn't do that. Gunner wouldn't have got no more years than that. Yeah, I, honestly, yeah, yeah, I don't think Gunner was going to get that much time. He wasn't they would have just much. kept trying. They would have just kept trying to drag out the trial until they until they would have had to let them go. That's a fact. I believe the same thing. And the fact, the, and the fact that Thug actually beat what that that first part, like with you know the, where the, the 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 evidence got disponged from his house and stuff like that. It's not evidence. It's uh, just in 2000. Remember, they've been watching them since 2016. So in 2017, in particular, he had some very incriminating text messages and phone calls that they obtained, but they can't use them in court because yeah, yeah, they weren't yeah. legally obtained. They kind of just snatched them out of his house when they went and picked them up. So the, so the fact that that happened that that's the only thing that's being held out of court yeah, as if, of now. If, if Young Thug gets away with getting some like my like crazy minor time, like a year. Bro, you know how crazy all them dudes in YSL is going to look, bro? <laughs> like, I, YSL would be no more. He, I know, I feel like Doug would want to start over. Yeah, you know dude. what I'm saying? Why would he want to go Doug. back to the same crew? He'd be a dumb mother, mother F to go back to the same crew that left him, you know what I'm saying? He left you to drive, bro. What do yeah. I would call Gunner Black Gunner? Tell me what I tell my lawyers, dog. Tell, <laughs> what, 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 should I, what should I tell them to defend me now? Please. Right. Damn, bro. Because he can't, it's he crazy. cannot go tell this jury of twelve people. Oh, this is not a gang. Four of them with YSL in front of their name just said, "Yes, it's a gang," and I seen them commit crimes. Now, what is my yeah. defense? Right. <laughs> like you, draw. it's like you just shattered my entire thing. Yeah, you yeah. just shattered it. His whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like yeah. EJ pointed out, this would have a, it would have even been a stronger defense had they had held together and held that standpoint. So they this is a right. record label. All of our records are false. They're not. They're just make believe in order for us to make money. We're not doing any right. of this stuff. Right. Yeah. It's bizarre, bro. It's crazy bizarre. And obviously, like I said, a lot of the hip hop, you know, people in hip hop, Boozy, um, I forget other people other than Boozy, but a lot of people were saying like, "Yo, this is this is terrible." He's, they snitched. They turned on Thug and Thugga. He was the head. He's the one who put money in all these dudes' pockets and gave them opportunities. You yeah. know. And um. So, but but what I want to talk about next and last before we get out, interesting, you know, turn of events. Obviously, gonna being released, he's now a free man. I heard, even after pleading, uh, you know, pleading guilty to Rico charges, he was given five years. One of the years is gonna count as the time served, and he's only gonna have to do four years community service or something like that. So he's literally not yeah, gonna like do five, no time. Like like 500 hours or something yeah. like that. Yeah, so saw. he's going to do yeah, no yeah, time. Yeah, he's not doing no time. And and that that's what, watch, I'm telling you, Thug takes that to trial. We're going to see the real deal heavy snitching that, that Thug. Because listen, that and I'm glad you said that, because look, all them boys they did. signed on paper saying that if called to the stand, they have to come go to the stand and tell the truth. And everyone, I see a lot of people say, yeah. oh, he don't got to go to the stand, he's not going to go. Yeah. What would make, what stop him from going? He signed a paper and the, yeah. that was part of the deal. You yeah. think they just let them niggas go with no time just to be cool? <laughs> now, the interesting thing about the taking the stand thing, and the, oh, you got to tell the truth is, people are saying, oh, he going to stop the stand, he go out of stand. No, no, no. Okay. He just admitted on paper that he saw them do criminal activity and that they are a gang. If he goes on right. the stand and says anything else, that is instant perjury. Mm -hmm. Instant perjury. 
because we have you in court in front of a judge saying, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, that these niggas did this. If Gunner goes on that stand and they say, point to the leader of YSL, the gang. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has to do and you know, and you know how messed up the prosecutors are, bro. They're going to do that. That they're like, going to they're gonna be it. like, yeah, that's gonna probably gonna be their first that. question. Be like, okay, who's the leader of the gang? And he's going to have to point. He only can. He, has to. he can only plead the fifth on things that's incriminating himself. That's the right. only thing that he can plead the fifth on. And and you know. And like you said, because we, like you said, the prosecutors, when his lawyers and they came in front of the judge and showed this deal to the judge, I'm sure the prosecutor's like, yo, we're not accepting this unless we know for sure Gunner's going to be on that stand. And he's, you know what I'm saying? There's no other way they're accepting that deal if, unless that was the case. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, they, yeah. they, they, they wanted this. They want to put, th they, they want to put Thug away. They want to. So, yeah. it's and like. at this point, it's looking like. It's looking like that's gonna happen, man. And to be honest, he's gonna he might end up spending the rest of his life in prison if if this goes down as deeply as I think it's gonna go down. Yeah, only because yeah, all these niggas plead it's, out. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Um real quick though, all right. So before we go, on, gonna think, like I'll get he's obviously back on the scene. Hold starting on. with Don. We got what we got a we got a comment from Dre. I think they can make a fall guy that they can point to and say that person is the leader, someone who would no. That that's not that's not no. happening, bro. It's too late. They can do that yeah, it's, it's because that, if they held together, they could have did that. The evidence because and that's another thing that I was talking about with somebody else. If there wasn't so much specific evidence pointing at Young Thug being the leader, then maybe that would be possible. Young Thug went as far as to the vehicles that they rented to do assaults allegedly on wife and Lucci and Lil Wayne. He rented them in his name. He was putting everything that they were doing in his name, which automatically points him as a leader. I think. What while what Dre's saying could have been possible, I think it's a little bit too late in the game for that. You know, they maybe could have done that back a couple months ago when it first started, but now at this point, especially after four of your homeboys and said it's a gang, I don't think there's no way that they're you know they're getting someone else to be the fall guy here, man. Yeah, like it's too. This is this is too. I, I don't see anybody that's gonna really want to be the fall guy for that. Like I can <laughs> understand it, but like two three years, like all right, let me be the fall guy, come back out to some millions, but. Facing life or well, facing 50 plus 10, or 15 or yeah, 10, 20. Yeah, no, nah, niggas ain't trust. That's not, that's more than a fall guy. That's you giving your life away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, no. yeah, man. And I think, um, like I said, everything was in this man's name. And at this point, it's, it's too far, bro. I think because, again, once he's in that court, we got to prove why was all this going on. Because now we just certified this again. So that's how the court session is going to start. The gang YSL. Why did y'all mind you? This 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 case has bodies, right? They you know the young, um, young Lucci's man um, nut or whatever that they that they allegedly killed. All that. If they could find any way to tie that body to Thugger and say he gave the green light on that, that's it, man. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I, I you know I brought I brought up the only only way Thug Thug's gonna have a chance is if if Thug sees everybody snitching and he starts. He starts talking too about, like, literally just snitching on the people who did the crimes for him. <laughs> like, yeah, hey, little homie from and you know what's funny? did this shit. He did this for me. Da da da. Boom, I boom, feel boom. like maybe specifically at this point, his lawyer has probably had to give him that as an option. Like, yeah, yeah. You need to start singing <laughs> yeah. yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just start way, singing. <laughs> and he probably just like, damn, I can't even. You know what I'm saying? Because because that's like, not. We need to like, bring up what I'm, in. I'm trying to get to is that. What do they do now? Especially like you're gonna. What do you do? Because you, you come out. Because can can gonna jump right back into talking about being a gangster and saying, bro, if, I don't. If, what's if, that? What's that mean for Friday? If if no, <laughs> if, if six nine wasn't able to do it, bro, gonna should not be able to. I don't think. I don't think it's gonna click. Um. Yeah. It's it's just not going. It's not. I don't know. I don't see it happening. But I, you know, I did say something interesting, bro. I feel like. Because I don't know if y'all seen Sauce Walker, his crew yeah, he just, just got, got it with the Rico. But I mean, they, I don't. I read from what I read, just his associates. He yeah, himself yeah, no, hasn't he's, been picked yeah, up. Yeah, he's, he's not. He hasn't been picked up. But his but group, I assume just he gonna do the gun and turn himself in probably tomorrow or the day after or something. Oh, like you think that, so? I, I don't know too much about probably. the situation. I didn't even think he was a part of like the Rico 
charge. Oh, you think maybe he's not even part maybe of it's this just thing yet? Maybe it's just his crew. I don't know. But remember, that's what Nick was saying when they didn't when they didn't pick up Gunner. They was like, maybe Gunner ain't part of it. Oh, <laughs> true, true, true. But I I think, bro, like right now, it's looking like it's looking like this is a real deal trend, and I could see yeah. ten years from now on Netflix, Rico, yeah. somebody they're making a documentary saying um, how Rico killed gangster rap. Kill gangsta hip hop, yeah, because like gangsta I said, bro, the great, like I told, I, see it, bro. I would have conversations with Casey like years ago, like back in 2016 and 17, and I told him, bro, I was like, bro, they gonna get these niggas, bro, and once it starts, it's gonna be a just a, yeah, a, yeah. a ticking time bomb. That's because just what keep they happening. got. They got Casanova and his crew. They yeah. right now they got the big biggest one. They, this is the big fish, the, the Young Thug and Gunner. They got Sauce Walker. They got and Bobby Smith um, and his people. They got, yeah, they got uh, there's another, uh, why, why, YRN, is it YRN, YFN? Is it Young Rich Nigga? Or you, YFN's, uh, Lucci's crew. Is YFN or YRN? YFN, YFN. YFN, YFN Lucci's well, crew. YFN. The, you know, uh, and there's okay, others yeah. that I'm forgetting, but, you know, they just all getting hit with Rico's. Rico, Rico, Rico. Yeah, it looks bad. And it just, oh, because, especially even with the three-letter thing. Now to the feds, every one of these. Late record labels that have the three letters in front, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be like, okay. Guess perfectly, what, you know what I'm perfectly a Y. Yeah, for real. <laughs> so it's crazy, man. Um, so I don't know. So yeah, so so Clay, what do you think? What do you think's next for Gunner? If you was Gunner, what would you do now? Would you just lay low, or would you jump back in the studio? I mean, honestly, if if I was Gunner, I'd lay low for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I think I'd wait and see how this plays out. And and and. and, and and what I, and what he better not do, he better not go on drink champs. Don't do it. Stay away from drink champs, gonna. But I, I think Stay he could. I think he champs. could uh, do stuff behind the scenes in music. Behind the yeah, scenes, yeah, of course, yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of behind the scenes stuff, but he can't. He not gonna. I don't see him being able to make the same type of music. I don't. I don't see it. I, I just hope he left the A. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't think nothing will happen to him, to be honest. Yeah, nothing will happen to him. Yeah, that's, that's that's the too thing too. It's fine. such a sweet spot because I'm sure his lawyer said that. Like, look, bro, if they even if Thug or whoever wanted to, they're not gonna do it to you right now because mm -hmm. it would be the stupidest time. You know what I'm saying? Like this, that's true. young the young because from what I heard, he can't even young Thug cannot even speak on it, can't post about it, nothing oh, yeah, yeah, at yeah. all, at all. Like he can't even then, act like he's thinking about it. But you know what? Now that I think about it, then that would be a a motive, like because remember we're talking about Thug doing a lot of time here if gonna all them boys hit the stand so i wouldn't put it past somebody with power like that to really try and take gonna out because like i've been telling people if you know uh, you know these these cases they can have they can have evidence they can have you on camera you can beat that but once they have evidence camera and a witness you're fucked bro yeah. that witness is what ties like that witness you know they're gonna trust the witness over the camera over the 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 hard yeah. evidence, you can have the hard evidence in the camera. Say. Lawyers can that's beat that. Yeah, that's why most murderers and so they they say no witnesses. Yeah, yeah, that's why they kill the witnesses because like a witness is much a witness is worse than any evidence, man. You can look, at, you can look a motherfucker video camera in it, like be right there, and still beat it. But if a motherfucker seen you. Look that camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's over with. It said they seen you. Yeah. <laughs> so, nigga say because you know could like. Okay, as soon as Gunner is gonna be like, so Gunner, you say you saw young thug do criminal crimes. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did you see? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't. Break. It's like that's why it's like don't even get yourself in a position to be asked certain things in the court of law. You know what I mean? Like, for real. Though. Like I said, and you, like it's just it's the worst thing about it is that you not only yeah you saved yourself. I get that, but you put your man's in a in a worse position than he was even in, and that's what you should be ashamed of. The fact that. You, that you walked out of that court with your girlfriend in hand, skipping, damn near skipping down the steps of the, of the jail cell. Yeah, my boy was skipping out of there, boy. <laughs> but to do that, you put your man in a, put his back against the wall. You know what I'm saying? It's like, dude. And and I'm sure Young Thug could have done that. Let's, like I said, let's be honest. I'm sure when this went down, one of Young Thug's many options his lawyer gave was like, look, you could just blame this on everybody else. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, and say that you, you know, that you was not, you was just the, the leader of YSL, the, the label, and that gun and all these other little niggas was the ones doing all the gang shit. You can do that. And I'm sure he declined. Like, no, I'm not. That's, that's crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like, dude, like when you want to play the blame game, play the blame game if you want, if that's your life, and you about snitching and all that, if that's your life, 
do not go do crimes with people that you're not willing to go down with them for, bro. I don't get why people do it. Mm -hmm. And if you're not going to be that stand-up person, just don't do crime. There's no, yeah. being niggas like us and not being in that life, there's no shame in it. Because especially if you're not no stand-up guy. Yeah. <laughs> why get yourself into the situation to show the world you a liar and that you a hypocrite? And then, and then with that, with that situation, if I, I don't know if y'all noticed, right after Gunna uh, took his plea, that I feel like that's the only reason them other dudes took the plea. Yes, that's the only reason. It was like a domino effect. They, they was like one by one. Look, look, they, show, they probably dude. showed they probably showed the video of Gunner skipping out of the courtroom. Look, he just he just took that. <laughs> 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 Your boy's out of Your here. Your boy gone. He, he just said this shit again. And he had a down piece with a. Ooh, I know he gets some. And he had, right? Yeah, he boy, that man. He got through that car cheating. Like <laughs> it was like, hey, your boy just said it was a gang, and uh, y'all boys was. Oh, and, and he just hopped in the rolls. That's the new rolls, ain't it? Oh, <laughs> I was dang. like, damn. All right, here. That could be you, Playboy. <laughs> what, 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 what I gotta say? They said it was, uh, it's a gang. <laughs> <laughs> what I gotta say? <laughs> Bro, gonna started that whole oh, snitch man. fest, boy. She started going down a lot. <laughs> and I know for him too, because you probably hoping like, damn, I hope once I do it, the rest of these niggas don't. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> all these niggas start doing that. Damn it, oh, bro. I can only imagine what young lawyers, young thugs, lawyer had to tell him like, bro, we got some bad news today, boy. Like, <laughs> imagine getting like, that. All your boys filled it. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna cap. Really, all this. <laughs> not most of them. Most well, of the every, big ones. Every, damn, none of them. None everybody of them, folded. None of them st stay solid. He's probably like, damn, none of them. Nope. <laughs> Is that not even Gunner? He was the first one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My nigga, like, when I see when I see Lil Duke and and then yeah, Gotti, I was like. <laughs> this, this is devastating. Yeah. Like this I'm man sorry, gotta be bro. like, bro, I'm not. Like, and and like 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 I was talking this one earlier. Like they were saying, if them niggas snitch like that, boy, the rest of them is probably about to be singing everything they seen, <laughs> oh, heard. They're gonna be like, they're gonna, gonna be in the they're gonna be in the courtroom sounding like a choir. <laughs> Yo, the whole trial about to be a snitch fest, bro. Yuck, that's snitch so fest, confused. boy. Snitch fest. We talking about Rico charges that would have had niggas in prison for 12 plus more years down to nothing. Just go home. <laughs> Just go home. <laughs> like, bro, that is bizarre, bro. Yo, that, yo, there's no, like, and like I said, once, once you come to trial, that's when we're going to see, like, the real telling, bro. Like, they, they going to, because everybody's going to hit the stand. They want Young Thug and the people who actually probably murdered these people. Yeah, that's what they really, really want. Because what I think they really care about is that body. They really want to find out who is responsible for this body. So it's, it's but yeah, that boy. Um, know, he got, he got, he he has a, he got a, he got a case to fight, like a real, like this. His lawyer yeah, probably sure got. Do. That's why his lawyer came up. His lawyer was probably sweating bullets when all them was taking the pleas. Like, yeah, hey. like bro. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he probably caught them niggas lawyers like, yo, what the freak is wrong with y'all? Like, why, <laughs> why would y'all choose this option? Right. But again, to me too, like I think of a big overlooked part of it is whatever was going on in prison, I don't think Gunna, it was not rubbing Gunna the right way. No pun intended, but something was not rubbing Gunna the right way in prison. I, don't and know I was, was. going to say that too. I almost forgot, but you could tell he was trying to get out of there for a long time. Like he was desperate because every, I feel like every other week they're like, <laughs> He he tried again, but they denied his bail. <laughs> the yeah, bail denied like, again. They was denying bail because they wanted him. They wanted him to snitch. They was they yeah. was pressing him. Yeah, for they sure. Yeah, it's all tactical, bro. These people, they're not dumb, bro. That's what they, I said. They, they playing chess, bro. Dumb. They play chess. Because I'm sure, because some reality don't sink in until it sinks in. And I'm 90% sure even when Gunner was turning himself in and getting getting, you know, getting processed and stuff. His lawyers and people are still like, bro, don't even worry about this. This is going to get cleared up in the next. You're going to be out of here in a month or two. And like Don just said, every time he got that deny, 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 he stepped closer and closer and closer to the line of snitching mm -hmm. until it was too much. And he's like, you know what? Because his lawyer probably told him, like, look, bro, the next step is the trial. And once we hit that, I can't help you. <laughs> you know, they're like, you're on your own, bro. Theoretically, you're on your own. And he's like, bro, I got to get out of here. And it could imagine that deal. Imagine you gonna and your lawyer and the lawyer is coming to you like, bro, they saying all you got to do is say these two sentences. You skipping out of here, down them steps for good. He probably slept on it for an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not even an hour. Most an hour, gonna probably went slept on it and said, oh, oh, yep, 
<laughs> not even an hour. Five good. minutes. The lawyer was probably in front of him with the paperwork. Hey, man, this is what they offered. I got it. Yeah, let's, let me get me out of here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> <You got that? laughs> and the coincidence that it's the day after where the judge took all, like, where he dispunged the evidence that they got from his house. The day after. You think, mm -hmm. I'm telling you that they knew all of this was going to happen. They yep. knew it. And they called, they called Thug to court the next day. The next day. And dispunged that evidence, bro. So I'm telling you, I, so, I know, I, I just, so, I just know Gunner was probably like, damn, like they, like, okay, we could have, we could have spread won. this out. <laughs> like, yeah, now nah, because he's probably like, damn, I just did that. And now like Thug, Thug got a win so in the, this situation. I didn't have to do all that. So the last dude, we so say the last dude that got, that got released was Slime Life Shorty. And, and yeah, here's yeah, his man. statement. Yeah, I'm home. Ain't have to snitch to get here, dickhead. I admitted young life, young slum life was a gang. And then it goes and says, this is again on, on social media. <laughs> peep, 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 peep. He says, I admitted young slum life was a gang because it ain't illegal for no group to be a gang. Look it up. That don't hurt nobody. Anybody could be a gang. Plus, the founder already admitted it. Oh, man, this snitch heavy. What I'm supposed to say if a founder admitted it? What I when did the founder admit man. that it was a gang? I have no Supposedly. idea. And all that. These niggas keep saying things that are not even real things that happen. Like, where y'all Who said? When did... Is he referring to Young Thug? No, he's referring to Yo, the other guy goes, was that, that the other dude that plead out that said he created YSL. I was really... Right. I was trying to figure out this last sentence because he's horrible grammar. He goes, what I didn't do was say, yes, it's a fact people in YSL commit crimes like murder and et cetera because I don't know nothing about that. So he claims he never admitted. No, he's a liar. Crimes, he's a liar. I, I know. All of I know, them had the same. Had to say the same statement. All of them. There, any member right. of YSL, their only ticket out right now is to say it is a gang and that they saw them commit crimes. I believe it. I know. I, I, I that nigga, they all lying because I mean, my man's came out and literally said I, I admitted to nothing in court, and then they have a video of him admitting to everything on the plea <laughs> deal, <laughs> verbatim. Yes, <laughs> And it's like, bro, yeah. even though they, they should, all these people that we're dealing with are stupid people. Even what this nigga just did. I'm sure his lawyers told him specifically, when you get out, don't post about it. Don't talk about it. Don't say nothing. But these niggas be so in their head about the snitching and how it makes them look and all this shit like, oh, no, I got to prove I'm not a snitch. You a snitch, dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How you, and, and, yeah. and no cap, I would have had more, I would have had more respect for Gunner if he was like, look, I had to do, I had to do shit, the, the right thing for my family, bro. I can't sit in there. You know what I'm saying? I can't sit in there the whole time. I would I would have a little more respect for Gunner, but he yeah. came out and said, I ain't say no statement. Uh, they, they, you know what I'm saying? Da, 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 all that rah-rah shit. Like, bro, shut your ass up. Like, yeah, you, like, didn't give, <laughs> you didn't give a statement. You repeated what the judge told you to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, bro. So that, that like, crazy, bro. But we gonna keep up with it, of course. We gonna see what happens with the YSO case. Um, I don't know if y'all got anything. We don't, I don't